one of my best friends sent it me on WhatsApp a voice message. I know this voice message you perhaps don't understand. If you're from Austria, Germany, or Switzerland, or you learn German. What she said was, is something that I really don't understand. Perhaps I will understand it, but I don't think so. Who know? Like, the video gonna be really excited. The voice message has something to do with has been hotel. If you know has been hotel, you're gonna think, okay, interesting. What can possibly go wrong with this voice message? Everything somehow, I guess. You're gonna hear it right now and the transition too. Du has been hotel. Da gibt's ein, der heißt Angel Dust, und der erinnert mich so sehr an dich. Das ist bro. Why? Okay, I hear the voice message and I was like, okay. I will react to a video. <laughs> and this video is 50 facts about Angel Dust, also called Anthony or Angie or any other name, okay? And I write some points on a piece of paper. Let's see how many points I have. Welcome back to my channel. I am back, that is NBV. To make it more excited for me and for you guys, there are 50 facts. The whole from 50 is 25. If I have 25 points, you can call me Angel Dust or Anthony or Angie or any other name people gonna say to him or her. Like, I don't know what he really is. I mean, okay, he's a spider, but I don't know pronounces because he looks kinda gay. Like me. <laughs> okay, I'm making more excited. If I have 20 points, not 25. If I had 20 points, you can call me Angel Dust or any other name, but not like that. Only you want it, really, but I don't care what you're gonna say to me, like, which name you're gonna call me. Only if you're gonna see me, then, yeah, then it's really, yeah, not the best thing to call me. Now let's start into it in 3, 2, 1, go! Hello, Esben fans. Did you know that Vivzy Pop and her team have revealed a ton of secrets about Angel Dust? Hmm, kinky! There's a ton to learn about our favorite spider demon, and much of it hard to find. Here are our top 50 facts you didn't know about Angel Dust. Number 50. Angel Dust has an official account on Instagram with about 200,000 followers, and many secrets and hints have been dropped there. Considering how long it takes to make a new episode, it's awesome to get to see new official stuff with Angel here every few weeks. What? Are you kidding me? What? Are you kidding me, guys? Like, what? You are no. I have to watch this, but okay. Like, okay, it's not a fact, but I also feel Instagram. This is why I make a point for me. Number 49. Angel Dust's pet pig, Fat Nuggets, was given to him as a gift. But who gave him the pet is still a mystery. Who do you think it could be? Me and my sister got uh, a cat from our parents, but we all gave her something to eat, clean her, also her poop and the stuff if she poops inside if we are gone. This is why I make a second point for me. Oh, I gotta see the comments. <laughs> Angel is canonically male, but sometimes uses feminine words to describe himself. For example, he has referred to himself as Pig Mama several times. Oh my god, uh... I'm... <laughs> You know, guys, what's really funny? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm also a part of the LGBTQ community. QA plus community. I am non-binary and gay. Welcome. I also use uh, pronouns like he, him, she, her, because that defines me, because... Like, I don't know what I really am, and I'm struggling with this sometimes. But I'm gonna say gay, because I say my gender, what I have between my legs. This is the male gender, and this is why I say, okay, yeah, I am non-binary, but gay. Because I'm more into boys, and I'm a boy. But I'm also the girl. <laughs> Number 47. Before I forget it, yeah, one point for me. Three points with three facts, perfect. Woo! Vivzy Pop has confirmed that Angel's generous bust is actually from his tight clothes pushing up his chest fur. His boobs are all fluff. Number 46. Okay, I don't have boobs. Okay, but I have fake boobs. 
I don't know, gonna say a point or not, because he wears this every time and they're also <gasps> But they're fake, what means Okay, I got a point again. Oh god. Four points with four facts, perfect. I kinda suffer in somehow. <laughs> in the Hasbun Hotel pilot, Nifty refers to the group as all women. It's nice to meet you! It's been a while since I've made new friends. <laughs> Why are you all women? No wonder the most common question about Angel on Google is about his gender. People also gonna ask me, are you a boy or a girl? Okay, I also can ask, so... If I have a mask on, you're gonna say, oh my god, it's a beautiful girl, or... a uh, Not beautiful girl. <laughs> and sometimes how I react to your stuff and this stuff, and so on, like, no. Too privacy for me. Number 45. On his Instagram posts, Angel wears both male and female presenting outfits and makeup as well as a mix in between. He expresses both a masculine and feminine side. You go, girl. Ah, uh, if you're gonna see on my Instagram, I also have sometimes male and female clothes and mixes on, like, mix stuff and, ah. Uh, it's too difficult to understand. Number 44. The majority of Angel's family are in hell and they all take the form of spiders. Angel's family are spider demons because of their web of organized crime. I do not come from hell. I am not a spider. There is no point for me because I'm coming from Yeah, you know, we all we all came from this one point out. Because I was born in a hospital, not in hell, and also not in the heaven. On earth. <laughs> Angel has an older brother named Arachnus, who's a bit shorter than Angel. According to early concept work, they are not on the best terms. Really, I don't have an older brother, but I have an older sister, but I don't know her, like, okay. But I want to meet her, but, uh... Like, I can say, uh, yes, I know her, and we understand us, like, this is why I don't give a point. Number 42. Angel's father's name is Henroin. He was unaccepting of Angel both in the living world and in hell, ashamed of Angel's lifestyle. His only YouTube appearance is in the Daddy Issues animatic, which features audio from the wedding singer. What? Huh? I'm a person too, Bob, goddammit. I'm a person too. You're a moron. Oh my god, my stepdad don't accept me if I make a crossplay, or actually I dress different like girl stuff and makeup and my hair is and I don't know what else okay but this is why I gotta take uh give me a point because he also don't want to accept that I guess or he don't understand it and yeah this is why I make it privacy in my room this is why nobody gonna see that really uh in person only to carnival or Halloween 41 Angel has a fraternal twin sister named Molly Wait, twins? Just one of Angel is bad enough. Okay, I don't have a twin, but I have a sister, a uh, younger sister, <laughs> and an older sister. Number 40. When asked if Angel keeps in contact with any of his family members, Vivzi replied she cannot say, as it may be explored in the show. Okay, like, okay, I can give me a point at this situation right now, <laughs> I guess. According to Vivzi Pop, after Angel was sent to hell, he got into sex work pretty early on, rejecting his family's mob business. Vivzi won't get into it very much as the creation of Angel and his backstory is connected to a rather difficult time in her past. Now I wonder why you, Liesh, Christine, sent me this voice message. Please, can you... <laughs> I'm not a sex worker. <laughs> I'm an apprentice. <laughs> and not in a sex... shop or in a... yeah. You know, okay. Mm. I don't give me a point at this, but I love... Oh, no, I don't gonna say that, like, this is too privacy for me right now. Number 38. Angel named himself after the drug Fensaclidin, or PCP, because he died from it. Side effects of PCP include seizures, hallucinations, coma, and even death. Number I don't give me a point at this, I'm still alive. <laughs> oh my god, like, what? Oh my god, like, he died of the... This is crazy. What? Okay, I, I'm speechless right now. Seven. 
In the song Addict, Angel says he died from an overdose and it has been confirmed this was on PCP, his drug of choice. However, most deaths from this drug are caused by accidental injury while under the drug's effects, rather than from the drug itself. Perhaps this will be explored in a future episode? Number 36. Angel is canonically gay, but despite this, he is willing to sleep with women in exchange for money. According to the prequel comic Dirty Healings, he charges extra for ladies. Here you go. Take it, Angel Dust. Take it! Like, okay. I am gay! I am non-binary! I said it before! Angel Dust is employed by a pimp named Valentino. This character appeared only briefly at the beginning of the pilot and is featured more heavily in the Addict music video and in the prequel comic. Valentino is frequently shown with red smoke around him, which fans speculate is a form of hypnotic or addictive chemical giving him control over Angel and his other- What?! Players. Number 34. The abusive nature of the relationship between Angel and Valentino is shown in the Addict video. It has been confirmed that Angela has depression and PTSD from Valentino's abuse. Oh Many my god! What? A second character I knew with PTSD, but the one that only is right now? Who has the same PTSD like me? Oh god, I don't want to talk about that, okay? With the same thing. Okay, I must say at this time I was the dumbest person. Like, I had to say, no, I don't want to, but... I was too dumb. Number 33. Is there love in Angel's future? At the Hasbun Hotel panel at Momocon 2019, when asked by a fan if Angel will be getting a boyfriend, Vivzi said he will at some point in the series, but gave zero indication as to who it may be. But it's in my life somebody I love. Right now, ever do I have a crush on somebody? No. Do I had one? Yes. Uh. But okay, we're gonna... Uh, um, I don't... Okay, it's also a question, like, does he get a boyfriend and... Is somehow, yes, okay, I make a point. Two. Angel is a masochist, which is defined as a person who derives pleasure from their own pain or humiliation. Ah! Nine. Okay, I can explain. I can explain, please. I <laughs> please. Oh my god, this is so embarrassing for me right now. <gasps> oh. This is cr this is crazy right now. Dude, oh my god. Okay. Number 31. Angel Dust has a venomous bite that makes those bitten feel drugged or sick. Interestingly, Serpentius has this ability as well. Number 30. Okay, I don't have. Angel's form is based on a jumping spider. Jumping spiders are actually the largest family of spiders with over 6,000 species. They are easily identified by a large yeah. pair of middle eyes, which are so cute. Aww. Okay, I don't show you this image because I know some people uh, can't see spiders and this stuff. 29. Number 29. Due to his spider form, Angel has some special abilities. As seen in the pilot, Angel can extend a third set of arms with clothing to match. And because of his relation to jumping spiders, he can jump very high. <laughs> I don't have four arms, I have only two. Okay, okay. I have only two. Two! And special abilities, uh, I mean, it's everyone has special, uh, special ability, this is why I make a point for me too. I have ten! We have the haul! The one thing Angel doesn't like about his demon form is his feet. Huh, must be why he always keeps them hidden in boots. No official artwork exists of Angel's feet, leaving many fans guessing. This fan's curiosity about Angel's feet was even referenced in the pilot itself. Hey! This body is flawless! Oh. Everyone wants some of me, and I got the creepy fan that is to prove it. I hate feet. Like, okay. <laughs> I can't see feet because I'm... I don't know why, but I found feet disgusting. Like, god damn. Like, if somebody showed me a toe picture of foot picture, I was like, uh, no thank you. I don't want to see them. Like, this is nothing for me, but okay, if you like it, you will like it, okay. But I don't like it. I mean, some. T okay, he said that, the, that his body is, I gonna say, perfect, okay? I make a point. Because for me, is my body also perfect. He loves the color pink, and all of his outfits match well with his fur coloration. 
This spider has some style. Okay, that is not pink. Number 26. Angel has Italian heritage. He can speak Italian and loves Italian dishes, and can also cook Italian meals. Though, I'd be wary of what he would put in your food. Subway? Was Subway made in uh, the USA? I love Italian food, it's, that's true. With like spaghetti, pizza, uh, Freddy Fazbear pizza. <laughs> But, or lasagna, or actually also ice cream. There's a lot too, too. So I give a point, especially also for you guys. That you have a chance. I mean, we have 12 from 20. I'm fucked. Angel's distinctive accent comes from both his Italian family and from being from New York City. Hey, I'm walking here! I'm walking here! He died in the year 1947, and so his voice is inspired by both the location and the time period. Number what? Okay, I can say that. <laughs> Michael Kovac is the incredible actor that provided the voice for Angel Dust. I got a little, uh, I got my thumb here. I push it up a little bit, and it makes my voice a little higher. Michael has provided voices for many video games in the past, including three of the Five Nights at Freddy's. What? Are you kidding me? I love Five Nights at Freddy's. I have a plushie in my bed. My Toy Bunny plushie. And also the, from the first pizzeria. I have it in my shelf, okay? Voice actors, that's really interesting. <laughs> do you want that I should do a video with voice acting? Smash a like button and write a comment. Then I gonna do one video in the future. <laughs> Number 23. Considering how different Michael's regular speaking voice is from his voice for Angel Dust, it makes sense why he has a separate character to represent himself. Ashley Nichols, one of the cleanup animators for Has Been, made an OC for him named Covey Cat, which is basically Michael as a cat. Originally he wanted to be an owl, which she claimed she isn't able to draw well. I can make a point. Number 22. When Angel died, he was in his 40s, but in the series he was in his 30s. It hasn't been explained how he jumped backwards in age. Yeah, maybe becoming a spider is good for your skin. Okay, uh, yeah, I can say something to that, like, I'm sorry guys, boop boop. The angel is not the pickiest eater. After all, the popsies from the pilot didn't exactly look that fresh, but Angel doesn't mind. It's probably a good idea to get some actual food in this place, you know, to feed all the wayward souls you got in here. <laughs> uh, uh. Okay, I ate something bad, but I wasn't sick at this time. Like, okay, I'm gonna make a point. Oh my god. I don't know what it was. I think... I think it was... Uh, uh, oh my god, I don't know what it was, but something to eat, of course. <laughs> something to eat it was. This is something what I know. Perfect. Uh... Number 20. Oh, 20. Angel, alongside Alistair, are two of the first characters Vivzi ever created, and are two of her personal favorites. Longtime fans of her work had to wait years and years to see these characters animated, but the wait was well worth it. Number 19. Angel and Alistair are the most challenging for Vivzi to write, because she isn't an expert on the time period they come from. A lot more research goes into writing an episode than you might think. Number 18. Creating Angel was an emotional roller coaster ride for Vivzi, as creating him helped her go through a toxic relationship. Both Angel and Alistair are based on some complex emotions she's had in her life. Yeah, okay, one point. I... you know, the story. Angel's first human name during production was originally Martin, but this was later changed to Anthony. Vivzi Pop has drawn a version of Angel Dust's human form, and he's freaking adorable. Number six. Okay. I make a point for me too because you know I just gotta say my real name on YouTube. My real name is in the name inside and second. There is a there are some videos with my name and my past name with my name, my completely name, and that's not me. There's just like a a baby would dance and I was like um, yeah, you, uh, that's my name, dude. 
The name Anthony may come from the name Antonia, which means priceless, praiseworthy, and or beautiful. A ton of people consider Angel to be their favorite has-been hotel character, so it sounds like the fandom agrees on this one. I mean, I can put a point. But I don't do. Number 15. On his days off, Angel enjoys going to the aquarium. His favorite fish are the blobfish and, of course, the angelfish. Not my favorite. <laughs> Number 14. The second chorus from the Attic music video shows Angel Dust and Cherry Bomb dancing in Club 666 with a large aquarium in the background. Angel's favorite, the blobfish, can be seen in one of the shots. I make one point and we have 16 from 20. Number 13. According to Vivzi, Angel has a soft spot for children. However, she noted that he would be the friendly, irresponsible type around them. She said he wouldn't act inappropriately around them, but would still swear. Angel, think of the children. Oh, won't somebody please think of the children? Soft spots. Oh. According to an old sketch by Vivzi Pop, Arachnus was actually the one that killed Angel what? after giving him a black eye. This might Oh my god, I haven't noted before, like, oh god. I mean, okay, I have two eyes. <laughs> Normal eyes, my real eyes. Ooh, we would love to see this scene in the show. God damn, 11. Vivzi has said that there's a reason why Angel is so brightly colored, but the reason has <laughs> not yet been revealed. <laughs> you also don't know, but I know why I make this. 17. Oh god, you're gonna win, I guess. But <laughs> we can say everything, but if it's true at the end, it's a different question. I know this line from Kakegurui, one of my favorite animes. When asked what would happen if Angel were to find a lost baby, Vivzi said that he wouldn't hurt them, but he would take them to inappropriate places while finding their parents. We think this would be an amazing episode to watch, don't you think so? I mean, I will call, I will go from house to house and gonna say if this person know who, to who the baby belonged to, like, I, it's, I guess it's the only thing I really can do. When asked if there was one kill Angel was really proud of in the Ask Angel Q&A livestream number one, Seth Atkinson said in Angel's voice to stay tuned because it will be addressed later in the series. Number 8. Angel will have the most outfit changes out of the entire cast, considering his love for fashion, that shouldn't be surprising. <laughs> Maybe we get to see him in his cat suit. We can only- What? <laughs> okay. Oh uh, no. Oh uh, god. Oh. Number 7. According to Vivzi Pop, Blitz and Angel Dust would be kicked out of a Medieval Times restaurant for various shenanigans. What do you think these two goofballs I might do? Number 6. According to Ashley Nichols, if she were to describe Angel Dust with a My Chemical Romance song, it would be Mama. The song mentions, quote, You should have raised a baby girl, end quote, and quote, I should have been a better son. Okay, well, so what I say, I lied from a song from Melanie Martinez, Mad Hatter. I gotta say every time, all the best people are crazy, and they also say it to me when I'm sad. Number five. Angel is musically talented. He could play both the trumpet and accordion. Having so many extra hands must help quite a bit. I mean, I can play any instruments, but I have two violins and one keyboard. Right here. <laughs> you don't see it, but in my last video you saw it. Uh, but, to be honest, uh, I can play, but I love music. What means that it's also a point, and we reached 20 points. That means you won, you... Oh! Okay, you can call me right now what you want. This is crazy. No. <laughs> I swear to God, if somebody call it too much, I swear to God, I will surprise you if I reached if I reach 1,000 subscribers, okay? I will do a video in a cosplay. Angel does cosplay, okay? If you want to... You know what you have to reach, or I have to reach. Whenever Angel leaves the hotel, he gets Husk to babysit Fat Nuggets. Husk hates doing this, but then again, he seems to hate just about everything. Oh, yeah. 
Number three. Delightful. According to Ashley Nichols, Angel's voice was inspired by Yakko from Animaniacs. Hey, can you two keep it down? I'm pretending to listen to the news like an adult. Number two. Angel Dust has tons of nicknames. He's called Angie by Cherry Bomb. Hey, thanks for the backup, Angie. Angel Cakes by Valentino. Hot Stuff and Slut by Travis. Thanks for the fun time, Hot Stuff. <laughs> Whatever you say, slut. <laughs> oh, no. My effeminate Fellow by Alistair. And what can you do, my effeminate fellow? I can suck your dick. And our favorite, he is also known as the spider in the kinky... I have also so many nicknames. You know what? I cannot say my real name. My real name is Nicholas. And my nickname also is also Nikki with C. <laughs> Susie, what means sweetie, um, cutie, uh, violiny, <laughs> because I play a violin, uh, and sister. Please don't ask me. Our number one fact about Angel Dust. Angel is estimated to stand around Wait, eight to what? Nine feet eight to nine feet tall. tall. How tall is that? Eight feet tall. Two meters. meters and what's nine are you kidding me he's he's oh my god okay you know between eight and nine and if i got it's somebody gonna say between then i take the middle what means between eight and nine is 8.5 that means i guess 250 252 i don't know 8.5 uh two meter 59 are you kidding me okay now I have two meters and uh okay I am one meter sixty seven. I'm nineteen. Hey anyways guys today I reacted to the video and okay I'm kinda like Angel Dust. <laughs> If I should react to has been hotel, then you're gonna write a comment. If you want to have a video, if I should do something different, you also can write a comment. I will react to a lot of things, and you're gonna see that right now what they're gonna react to. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Smash the like button, and if you want to subscribe my channel, then you don't miss any upload videos, and also not the cosplay video. <laughs> yeah. It's so embarrassing. I hope you have a nice day and we'll come in the new year 2022. And I hope you enjoyed the video. How was it before? And we we'll see you next time. Bye!